For the voters' reaction to tonight's debate, we turn to pollster Frank Luntz and his focus group in Las Vegas. Hey, Frank. Megan, we do have two winners for tonight, and I want to show you the opening clip. And it did come from Senator Ted Cruz because it was his introduction, and it set up such a very strong debate performance. Before we get to our group of 27 voters, let's take a look at the words that worked. America is at war. Our enemy is not violent extremism. It is not some unnamed malevolent force. It is radical Islamic terrorism. We have a president who is unwilling to utter its name. The men and women on this stage, every one of us, is better prepared to keep this nation safe than is Barack Obama or Hillary Clinton. If I am elected president, we will hunt down and kill the terrorists. We will utterly destroy ISIS. Whatever. What's your reaction to that phrase, that language? So I want a word or phrase to describe Ted Cruz after tonight's debate. Believable. Truthful. Presidential. Determined. On point. Decisive. Common sense foreign policy. He, he was pre presidential and I believed him. Definitive. A Commanding. A clear rising star. So what was it? Were you expecting this from a United States Senate? Remember, he's never actually had to run anything. And so many of you were so positive in your reaction. Please explain why. Right there. Yeah. I, I think Ted Cruz has a history of talking tough, and he backed that up tonight um, by what he said. He, he was definitely tough. He looked at us as, as voters and said, I will take care of ISIS. But is tough is tough what you're looking for. Well, yeah, it is. And he also showed that he's not going to repeat the same foreign policy mistakes of George W. Bush, of regime, regime change, which I think is a huge plus. Recognition is the step to resolution, and he's very clear about that. He's also very strong in his words, in his actions, and in his behaviors. And I like that. I'm attracted to it. So here's my question. Is he too strong? One of you in the second row. Is he too strong? I don't think too strong. I mean, what I like about Ted Cruz is uh, he always has done what he says he's going to do, and so when he talks tough, you know he's going to do it. Is he too strong? He says the right words, but there's still some... There's something I'm not getting from him. There's not a trust or... There's a... Something off still. Go ahead. Me. We, are, we are sick of weakness in the White House. We, that, I think that's the biggest defining trait. As, as Republicans, as we're looking for somebody strong. There are several of the candidates that are strong. Ted Cruz is both strong and, in my opinion, he was very precise, used a word like kill the terrorists, not contain, not control. This and is you definitive. guys agree with that? Yes. Yes. You want him to say that? Yes. 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 Tell me something. Why did you guys all laugh when Donald Trump, almost every time it came to him, you all burst out laughing. Why? It's interesting to watch people respond to him, and including us. It, um, he just has this not serious demeanor, and it makes me giggle. What, what, what was it? He looked like he was doing Jim Carrey mm -hmm. imitations. Yes. Yeah. I mean, so, the face was all over the place tonight. So, yeah. Megan, I want to show you a clip, and this is the one that, that Donald Trump did the best. And he's talking about building the wall. And I'm going to ask our group in a moment why you all support it, even though the media seems to be against it. But first, let's take a look at Trump at his best. We have a country or we don't have a country. People that have come into our country illegally, they have to go. They have to come back in through a legal process. I want a strong. I do want a wall. Walls do work. You just have to speak to the folks in Israel. Walls work. If they're properly constructed, I know how to build. Believe me, I know how to build. So what is it about the wall? Because, uh, first off, how many of you support building the wall? Okay, I want the public to see this. It's almost all of you. So you believe Trump when he says it? Yeah, absolutely. We have to have a wall. It is imperative that we secure our borders. Eric, why? Look, for, look at Israel. It's worked for Israel. If it worked for them, it's going to work for us. And you have to understand that, that he does what he says. I mean, like him or hate him, he does what he says, and he's got passion. He wants to make America great again. That's that's his goal campaign slogan. So, Megan, when we come back, we're going to show you the moments that didn't do as well. And 11 of these 27 people switched their votes. Oh. Tonight's debate was incredibly impactful. We're going to show you those 11 because they switched to two candidates. And I'm sure the American people want to know who won. Including this American. Great to see you, Frank. Thank you. Be back to you in a moment.